run DPS. We can run the Zeal Farah, for example, to kind of counteract that. There's been a whole lot of evolution when it comes to those kind of comps. 3-3 three, three is always the full back to, but Shoes Money Crew, for example, on Horizon have been running things like Bastion. Well, she's many crew we know from the previous season of Contenders where they made to playoffs. It can handle pressure that is put upon them when they're trying to qualify for these spots. I'll have to see if Eternal Academy is a more fresh and young team will be able to deal with that kind of pressure. Their head coach Swoosh definitely going to be in the back room, keeping their minds level, keeping that mental in a good space. Now he's going to be poking out, he's going to try and be punished. Speaking of space, Eternal Academy making a whole bunch of it, or Super Pluk is. Askoff and Zeal end up going down though. Two supports now down for Eternal Academy. Just have to rely on Tri Spears healing. But they are still contesting the point, which is important, but Super Pluk's going to have to play this extremely passively. Slur just trying to get up in his face. Same with JK Lol. He ends up going down as Oblin claims the kill. Choose Money Crew, going to clean out the rest of Eternal Academy and cap the point. Yeah, that was very strange that they saw Mal go down first, Mal's go down first as a yet yeah, Eternal Academy seemingly not internalizing that they had to try and keep themselves stable in that particular scenario and just went a little bit too aggressive, lost two supports and couldn't sustain him a fight. Wow, Zero actually got body blocked there in the doorway. No way he could really run away. He hasn't really got many mobility tools as the Brigitte, of course. Only that shield bash to gain a little bit of distance, but a speed boost from Lucio is nothing compared. So, she's many crew. Do you claim the point? Got a nice couple of vaults online as well. Yeah, claiming a couple of ticks. But look at Mal's. Only 28% towards a Graviton Surge. Kenzie's a lot further ahead because, of course, Mal's has picked off first. That could be Eternal Academy's ace in the hole here as they try to retake. But look behind them, JK Law. Oh, no. They didn't see it coming. Zeal's already dead. He gets stunned and hits the ground. Hopefully he manages to survive. A Graviton Surge is being thrown out by Shoes Money Crew. Uh, Eternal Academy even, as they do want to commit a little bit more. Transcendence though to heal them up. Chow's extremely low on the top side here. He's going to get demeched by Molfi. He was left alone for so long. Shoes Money Crew going to be able to send Eternal Academy back to their spawn points. Beautiful setup play by JK Lowe. And over to Cat uh, Eternal Academy, maybe over committing there. Kenzie throwing out the grab rather late into the fight. I've got to give credit to JK Lowe there for really mixing up his play style. Of course, going super aggressive with the uh, stealthy shatter. But then, the second that he got grabbed, he knew that Superflug could just swung into the grab and doing nothing else for the entirety of that control. He knew that he would have Graviton Surge. So he was basically backing off and not even staggering out his shield. He just kept it up entirely so the Superflug could not find the time to lay down that earth shadow he's gonna still have it to try and make things work in this next attack but shoes money crew at 75 percent eternal academy to claim it now or they're gonna lose out on shrine super being a little bit more cautious this time around not so much anymore as he is in the face of jk low he's not putting any funky shenanigans nice shadow does hit oblink are they gonna be able to capitalize though that self destruct is coming out of the back line as well two blue ends up going down grab on surge finds all of nothing, self-destruct thrown in as well by Eternal. The beat came through from them, also to try and stick them out in this engagement, but Superlook was already dead. Zeal's now also down. She's Money Crew just cutting part of Eternal Academy members one by one. Another grab is thrown in, nothing ready to swing, and the Supluk only just makes his way back to the point, already under half HP, is still trying to contest in OT. Doesn't have a huge amount of health, and he is going to lose the remainder of it, Jaws. No, Doomfist for Zeal, not going to be enough, and the rest of Eternal Academy members getting cleaned up. Chow eventually finds the remake, but wasn't able to redo really much anything with it. <laughs> Jake Lott on himself another tracking. shatter. Tracks the Lucio through the air, hits him on the head, and that'll be round one, secured by Shoes Money Crew. I've got to give a little bit of credit to a small micro play there from Maus towards the end of that fight. We did see a more random self-destruct, a desperate attempt from Chow to try and blow away all of Shoes Money Crew. And there was an attempt at a shield bash onto JK Lol coming through from Zeal, but Maus got the perfect projected barrier from across the point. Just inching his way around the pillar, getting line of sight onto JK Lol, gave him a projected barrier, meaning that Zeal could not get the shield bash and their main tank could live through that. Not only that, he could protect everyone who was behind the shield as well. If that shield bash had been successful from Zeal, that fight could have easily turned around with Chow disintegrating multiple members. Habitano Academy set themselves up for greatness today. They're going to need to find something a little bit more... I was going to say grateful, but is that, I guess that is a word, but it doesn't mean what I... Kind of wanted it to they're be. They're going to have to farm up some greatness and yeah, attempting yeah. to do that, yeah, they've got sure. Double Sniper. They've got Kenzie on the Widowmaker, one of his more famed heroes, and of course, uh -oh. Zeal on the Hanzo. Looks JK like they Lull. may well have found JK Lol. He's already, yeah, he's already been spotted out. He's on the Mega Health Pack. Seems like they actually saw him going that direction, didn't have the leap to get away. And now Eternal Academy are a man up in the in the fight. Plus, they can hide behind Super Luke's shield, which is so hard to actually take down. Especially if you're running this 3-3, you have to run around it more often than not, because the straight up burst damage is going to be enough time for the Rissa to put down another shield. Speaking of shields being taken down, the second that's 
Obling put down his. He was given a quick headshot from Zeal with those uh, Storm Arrows. A lot of DPS can come out of that particular hero. I have to see if Shoes Money Crew are going to try and vary up their tactics. They're deciding that they want to go for these double flanking DPS for Sombra and the Tracer. Slur's going to move over onto a far more mobile Moira who can deliver a lot of healing. But a triggering of a mine there will reveal Obling. Will not be able to stay uncontested for long as they look for JK Lol. No one's found Kenzie yet. No, Kenzie's playing super passive as well. He's no, he knows he's on the wrong side of the map at the current time. As you can see, Eternal Academy are going to get dove on by JK Lol. Splitting the team up with that bubble, but Trispa is already dead. Perfectly coordinated dive from the Lucio and the, the Zen. And the Tracer, of course. Ooh, Kenzie does manage to take his head off, though. However, the rest of his team, as he is in no man's land right now, isn't going to be able to back him up. Gustav finds the boot kill, and Shoes Money Crew should be able to reclaim this point. Good dive there from Shoes Money Crew. Quite cohesive. Now is already swapping over from the Tracer onto that Zaya, anticipating that potentially Eternal Academy won't try to retake here with the composition they currently have, but it doesn't look like they do have enough ultimates. They're actually going to give up a Supercharger, which is quite interesting because Supercharger has one of the highest fight win percentages of all ultimates. They also just gave up Infosize, not the hardest hitting ultimate in the world, especially when you know that 3-3 three, three is going to be lurking around the corner, but they also gave up Zeal's Dragon Strike. It's only 5% away. Maybe they'll be able to do something with this compositional swap up, though. That's going to be super getting very aggressive. Yeah, he's got the bubble on him, so he should be okay for the time being. But that coalescence is going to force him back for the time. Obling has that EMP, can just walk straight on top of Zeal. Couldn't shield bash, didn't have time to do it. Obling just presses Q, the rest of his team lose all their abilities, and Chow actually loses his mech on the point. Tries to be there also, caught in the EMP, could not use the transcendence. None of that healing available there oh, for no. Eternal Academy. That's a shame, Askov did end up getting hacked. Those skates don't work anymore. It doesn't heal either. Uh oh, Kenzie actually gets shoved off the edge by Gustav regardless. That's two kills for the Lucio. She's Money Crew continue to hold. And they're going to have to reboot those skates. Two support ultimates available here for the side of Eternal Academy. Slur's going to move over back on to the Zenyata. Wants to be able to deliver more damage to the main tanks of Eternal Academy. Wants to make sure that Super looks far more trepidatious and far more cautious about diving in like he did on the previous attempt. Obling, round the back, can try and get towards an EMP, but he's going to be looking for vanilla hacks at this moment. Yeah, JK Lowell is getting focused out. He has got Primal Rage as well. He's just going to bat everybody around the sidelines. Key target here is the Zen, but as soon as that happens, Zeal can just throw an armor pack on him. He's so hard for the Winston to take down. Have to see if Obling will be able to get a bit more EMP charge. JK Lowell once again dueling out with Zeal. Not much pressure on the point right now. Choose Money Crew one fight away from winning again. That's a big beat. Eternal Academy are going to have to engage at this point. Like you said, one more fight is all that Shoes Money Crew really needs. They're just going to hopefully save ult to save ult in this situation. Eternal Academy are also going to do the same thing. Only invested, what, a rally there and a beat. They got Grav to now use. They got Supluke's Primal Rage as well. JKL did use, of course, his Primal Rage as more of an engagement tool, try and pressure out Tri-Spear. Fortunately, Vitzeal was there with the Repair Pack, but EMP and Graviton, that could be a very deadly combo here for Shoes Money Crew. They can try and not only disable the Transcendence, but also strip away any shields from a soundbar. It's going to be a game of chicken. There's a beat coming out from Shoes Money Crew already. Supluk actually ends up going down first, as a Transcendence is forced out by Tri-Spear to try and save him. Obling still has that EMP, and they know it. They're having to back off here. They cannot not just run straight into him. The Graviton Surge helps kill off Chow, and the Obling is going to use that BMP eventually. Zeal had no shield to Kawa behind, and neither does Kenzie as his shields get stripped away from him. JK Lol finds two, and 99% could tick over to 100. Supu comes back in with the Primal Rage, but it is one monkey against the world. He ends up finding JK Lol, but OT is ticking down all so quickly. Super Luke tried so hard, they did get the perfect shield. There's the Doomfist, instantly hack. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you're going to get onto the point in this instance, Obling is going to hack you away. A Graviton Surge is thrown out by Chow, but an instant transcendence there from the Zen to make sure they all stay alive. Tri-Spit is trying to cause some additional disruptions on the Wrecking Ball, but gets instantly taken out as well. It's the slow, trickling members of Eternal Academy now just dying on the point. OT will disappear right before their very eyes in a couple of seconds. Super Luke goes down. Kenzie's going to follow and choose Money Crew start off the day strong with a map win. Yeah, some great dives going through from them as well. Definitely showing there's multiple different looks this Shoes Money Crew team can throw towards you. I'm especially impressed with Obling on the Sombra. Seems like he's doing a lot of work. Even if he's not doing a huge amount of damage, he's definitely demanding a lot of attention, especially from Zeal to try and peel for Tri-Spear, who's, of course, being given a lot of attention in the back, trying to open up with a hack and then use the input, just like actions for the hack. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, trying to get that additional ult charge onto Zenyatta's hitbox. Very good for weapons with more randomized sprays because he's quite square in terms of his hitbox. So this, the spread goes quite well for people like Tracer and Sombra to try and assassinate him. Yeah, head's pretty slow moving too. 
Not too many mobility tools. We're going to jump to a quick break, guys. Do not go anywhere. Map number two, which is Blizzard World, will be up after this. Hey guys, welcome back. Blizzard World coming up on your screens very soon. This is the second to last week, Harry, that Eternal Academy and Shoes Money Crew need to claim a series to avoid being put in that relegation spot. It's a penultimate chance for both of these teams and Shoes Money Crew Jaws, they're desperate for it. They're walking that path to where they came in through trials again, even though they were, of course, playoff contenders in season three of 2018. And of course, Everyone wants to walk that path forever. They want to get to a playoffs. They want to go up against the big boys, beat them, and then take that championship home with them. And, of course, best of luck to everyone walking the path to pro in open division at the moment. We hope to see you next season. But for now, in the present, let's look to our academy team, Eternal Academy. This is their first showing, Jaws, in 2019. Of course, fresh out Overwatch League team, fresh academy team. Got a lot of expectations on them. Yeah, they do. And she's many crew. And what you said before, that, that mental game is also strong, it seems like in uh, Eternal Academy's camp, because like you mentioned, they have swoosh. If you look at the side of Shoes Money Crew, they seem to win hard or they lose hard. Their, their win this season has been against Young and Beautiful, who haven't actually claimed a map, which does mean obviously the 4-0 did go the way of Shoes Money Crew. And the the three losses that they've had, or some of the losses that they've had have been four zeros uh, to the other team, of course, or the, the one or the three, sorry, the, the one and three 
the 0-3, because they got a draw. I'm confusing myself now. <laughs> the 0-3 versus Giganti that they have, which they did manage to draw one of the maps, it's either lose hard or win hard. That is the mantra right now of Shoes Money Crew, which could play into this game. If they are currently one map up, their spirits are going to be so, so high coming into Blizzard World. And, you know, they've got to prove it to the world that, hey, with the Path of the Pro team, People like J.K. Law have never been in contenders before, going up against some true veterans of not just Overwatch, but of not just contenders, but of Overwatch as well. Yeah, Chow, Kenty have been around since the start of pretty much everything, as far as I'm aware. They've been around in the European scene for as long as uh, I think I can even remember in Overwatch Esports. We've always had their names here and there. Does it like Eternal Academy are going to roll out with one of their signature compositions. Kenzie on the Ashen, of course. Zeal on that Farov I mentioned earlier. Can deal so much burst damage. Superpluke's also an incredibly effective wrecking ball. Can get some wonderful power drivers. Right now, she's going to going to cover away. Jaws don't want to take any poke before this begins. It's going to be quick contest there from Molfic, trying to make sure no objective progress can be gained. Oh, that concussive blast from Zeal attempted to hit the monkey off of the support. This is what this composition has to do if you're Shoes Money Crew. You have to dive on the supports because there's no real way you can contest Zeal in the air. They trade a mech for a kill. It's going to be in favor of Eternal Academy, of course, because of the spawns. It's all about Zeal getting that really early barrage online. Askoft, under a little bit of pressure, will be rescued, bailed out. Superblue cannot get aggressive, though. Not enough health to do so. Needs to command his supports to heal him up. Kenzie's getting a nice shot there. We'll try with Dynamite. Won't catch anyone this time. And now Eternal Academy can once again pressure onto a point. And Mouse, Mouse is caught out. Very big throwable. Oh, just managed to receive the health pack plus. That personal barrier as well, saving him for the time being. But like you mentioned before, they're carrying away. JK Law went for a dive. And Super Blue ends up finishing him off. But they do trade at least for the main healer of Eternal Academy, which means now they have to play a little bit more passively. I oh say that, Lord. and Zeal just found a barrage in the back line. That's two kills. And Chow as well, finding the melee kill onto Gustav. They can now flood onto the point with ults to spare. Zeal was so close, just 4,000 damage rained down upon Mao's. I had no idea what was coming. A tick's going to come through already. Mao's going to swap over now to the Sombra. Once that light hit scan presence, and there's the second tick. In comes JK Lol. They're going to use that rally. Opening is trying to rush to the point, give a JK Lol and Mole figure some additional armor Plus makes himself a little bit more hardy as well, but Chow's ready to sell for an EMP. He throws it in just before Supu ends up going down, however. He does get resurrected in the end, but Zeal also ends up falling. A Transcendence is now going off in the meantime for Shoes Money Crew to make sure they survive all the incoming damage. JK Lowell's going man mode on the back line as well. Obling finds two, three, in fact, as JK Lowell manages to splatter Tri Spear. Still, Eternal Academy unable to crack this first point. Superfluke going to get away with his life, and of course, with that minefield as well. Does it actually go into the spawn to get healed up rather than giving over that? Uh ultimate charge to his supports. Does need to move over to the Reinhardt, however. Eternal Academy, they've gone over to the classic 3-3 three, three Jaws, but 3-3, three, three, I'll talk to you about numbers. Two minutes and 20 seconds have already ran away from Eternal Academy. Two ticks and Mao's ready to open this next one up He's with ready the EMP. to set up. He's right behind them already. He's just trying to spot out the Zenyatta. A Transcendence comes in and the EMP is going to follow. The Zenyatta is going to be able to keep everybody alive now, but Zeal already goes down to that self-destruct. They need to play a little bit more passively now, a little bit more reserved. Play behind the Ryan shield and just force SMC to come to them. No ability to shield himself in that case. Slur's going to throw out Orb after Orb. He's 16 precious percent away. Big beat, but Obling already goes down. He tried to save him, but he wasn't quite so there to make shots. it. A couple of headshots from Slur, but Super Luke's managed to shield him just for the moment. But can't look 360 degrees and Mouse takes him out from the sidelines. Still Eternal Academy are in the ruins. They're in the dumpster right now. 50 seconds remaining. Even an EMP was committed by Shoes Money Crew, and Mao's already up to 50% of another one. Superplug there, definitely having the limited shield angle. Everyone just looking towards Kenzi, Slur, and Mao's. Unfortunately, Eternal Academy, they had to turn 360 degrees and walk away. Shoes Money Crew now in a commanding position. Once again, going to be trying to build up to that EMP from Mao's, but Slur can answer any incoming aggression with his transcendence. Kenzi's still 30% away from that all important Graviton Surge, and 27 seconds. It's all that Eternal Academy have here from potentially being full health. They've got themselves two ticks, but it's crunch time once again. They're on the point and they end up trading again. Askoff's actually going to go down as J.K. Law unleashes the Primal Rage. And now he's got Kenzie in his sights, putting off against the wall. There was nothing he could do. He couldn't receive any heals because the healers were already dead. Shoes Money Crew are going to be able to clean off Chow as well. Two ticks have only been acquired by Eternal Academy. Super Blue is going to spawn with a shatter. Askoff's going to try and get back to the point, but it's too late. Choose Money Crew almost with a full hold. Paris Eternal Academy only find two ticks. 
The Parisian Rooster is definitely coring right now, Jaws, and it's woken up Shoes Money Crew. They are looking so different to any way that we've seen Shoes Money Crew play before. And they look dominant in this particular case. It's only Academy throw something weird at them, so they're much better at bringing out Zeal on this Pharaoh, which is so hard for a lot of teams to shut down. Can see in the back on that Ash. Also incredibly hard, demands a lot of attention. He gave up Bob also. It's not the... Why would you give up Bob? It's not the highest value ultimate <laughs> some of the time because he can get shielded, he can get slept, of course. He can also get bursted down or if hacked. you have a Zenyatta or hacked also as well. I mean, they went to that 3-3 and like you mentioned, with about a minute and, what, 40 seconds remaining? There's no way you're going to be able to build up ults in time and the way Shoes Money Crew were playing there was just so spread out. So Super Blue almost had no value in that fight as well because he was the Reinhardt. He needs to get close to people to actually do damage, and he was just trying to protect the rest of his team. And then Slur hitting like four headshots in a row on Kenzo. You thought he was safe out in the uh, open, just building up towards that grab. Suddenly, I'm not safe, guys. And he was not safe to the degree where Mouse could just circumnavigate that shield. The SMG doesn't do much damage, especially when you're like 20 meters away, but it's still enough to try and make sure Super Plute couldn't guard all those directions, overwhelm the brain of a Reinhardt, and overwhelm the health bar of Vizaya. It's on Academy, however, not lost this yet. 83.9% of a capture on the first point. A full hold is doable for them here on Blizzard World. They are going to be betting on the Anna Gambit to make this work. Not going to have that Zenyatta, which means that JK Lol as a main tank going to be feeling pretty happy. He's going to feel pretty safe too. He's on the Winston, so doesn't really need to duel with Super Plug much. Can kind of keep his distance a little bit, try and engage on some of the supports. Looks like they're actually going to go back to spawn, change it up a little bit. Slurs on his Tracer, and we've got Mouse jumping over to the Widowmaker. So they're going for the old-fashioned 3-3. Three, three, I say old-fashioned. <laughs> not well, old-fashioned. It's really. going to be quad, quad DPS, DPS and one healer. Gustav's going to be up in the air, but of course, Tricebeard will have the ability to give a couple of snipes here to Oblink and Gustav. Of course, he does have a hit scan when he aims down sights on Viana. Everyone's got to hide away from Mouse. I don't want to be catching those headshots. Not like this, Kenzie. Who's checking Mouse right now? No one really can, apart from the Diva, but then she's not protecting the rest of the team. How do the Mortar? Going to be a lot of rockets coming in, though. That's a lot of damage. Obling already 50% of the way towards his ultimate. It's going to be knocking out Kenzie. Kenzie, you've got to be careful. He's got that personal barrier to protect him. But look at that. Right in the back line already. JK Lowe's going to be able to push a few more people out of position. Tri-Spear is the only person that can deal with Obling right now, but he is nowhere to be found. He can't peek his head out. It's going to get clipped by Maus. Well, indeed. Molfig also going to be scouting out in the back. Kenzie, once again, going to be the target of many, many hands. Good pick first start for Eternal. They managed to find Gustav at least, and Obling is going to go down as he didn't have the heals to back him up with. JK Lowe is going to reset himself. Same with Molfic. They still have time, Harry, and they've been building up to Ultimates this entire time as well. Great focus there from Eternal Academy. And also some good positioning from Tricebeer, making sure that he would not be in a place where Obling could rain down those rockets. And also, Mao's going to get a safe angle onto him. We saw him trying to make his way around over by that stall. But Eternal Academy, they rotated to make sure that they were always between Tri-Spear and Mouse. The Infrasites are now available, so Molfig and Slur are going to be very, very well informed as to where they want to make their insertions. Nicely. Ult denied by Chow. Pulse Bomb went in. He ate it all up, so Slur's going to have to build himself up towards another one. Nano Boost is going to go on to Ryan, but he can't really follow up with anybody apart from that grab actually falling in. A nice pin kill onto JK Lowell. That was the really only situation that Super Luke had to really touch anybody in this team composition. Askoff is going to be able to kill off Mouse as well, so another big reset from Shoes Money Crew, but a lot invested by Eternal. Choose Money Crew, still have EMP. They still have Barrage, Harry. Yeah, that Nano pin as well did 450 damage. That's a lot of ultimate charge for Super Blue. He could use that on potentially just Slur. Just go walk up to this. Lone Zinyana, just slam him on the ground, make sure no one can help him out. Mouse now no longer wants to play on that Widowmaker. Instead, he wants to play on this Ash, trying to make sure this DPS can, but works out one minute and 30 seconds remain. Tri-Spear, this is the worst pick that could happen. Tri-Spear's dead, Slur managed to find a right click, I'm assuming. EMP's gonna come in in just a moment as Molvig sets himself up on the high ground. Trying to bait Super out Luke tried to get him off. He managed to do a little bit of damage, but he's already dead, he was hacked, he couldn't use shield. And now Obni could just pick everybody off. No one is there to really deal with him. Ash is going to come back soon. The EMP comes out as well as a beat, but it's nothing from the barrage from Obling. He ends up finding one with the help of Mounds onto Zeal. And now Kenzie trying to buy some more time, but it's the trickling of members of Eternal Academy to try and touch this point. They're going to get overwhelmed if they touch it. Morfig there trying to get the EMP. Did manage to work it out. Super Fluke's on the corner, but he's not going to last for long. No one's going to be able to check them now. A Transcendence is coming out from Slur to heal up JK Lol. They've already found one tick. Another's coming in soon. Super Luke has the shadow. Tried to lay it out, but was knocked up in the air and quickly killed off. 50% has been acquired by Shoes Money Crew. And now is Eternal Academy trying to regroup a six. Kenzie's actually come back 
on the DPS of his own, but gets instantly taken out by opening a mouse. Couple more percent will do it. Chow is going to fall very, very soon if he's not careful, and Bob joins the fight. It's a 7v6 now. Bob's money crew definitely on the point and definitely going to be destroying one by one Eternal Academy's defenders. Yeah, there you go. Chow's going to go down. The EMP was built up in time. Shoes money crew managed to hold uh, Eternal Academy on first and then claim it. 2-0 in the series right now, match point as well. And they have lain the boot in. Eternal Academy, definitely going to have some halftime talks with Swoosh to try and sort out the mentality, try and figure out how they're going to make a reverse sweep happen here. But it's looking so good right now for Shoes Money Crew. Like we talked about, when they lose, they lose hard. So being in this position is really great for them and their mentality. Their own coach, Almost Panda, is going to be talking to them, uh, trying to identify the weaknesses that have already been exploited and how to continue doing so. We'll have to wait and see. The Sky will actually be our next map as well. So there is more potential there for Zeal, Farah, Kenzie on the Ash as well. Maybe a little bit of a Mao's Widow. We'll have to wait and see. Of course, there's a couple of replays from the map a little bit earlier on. And it was just kind of domination from Shoes Money Crew. I mean, opening on this uh, Sombra throughout the entirety of the two maps was almost unchecked. Like, it's super hard to kind of pick him off anyway because the Sombra is so slippery, plus you can use Translocator, but he was farming EMPs so fast. And we've got to give credit as well to Slur, who basically just opened up that entire point, I assume getting a right click onto Trispear, denying so much healing. And after that, Askoff, he didn't want to get involved to do that healing because he knew that Molfig had available... The EMP he didn't want to go in there because he knew that if he got caught out with that EMP, he couldn't cast Sambo. If he casted Sambo preemptively to try and save his team, it would get wiped away by the EMP. Eventually, Molfig did use the EMP just uh, to grab a couple of people, and there was a Sambo, but it was easily just chunked through by the barrage of Obling. Yeah, Obling, again, completely unchecked. And now Eternal Academy are in a situation where they need to reverse sweep shoes money crew. This series is going a little bit too fast for their liking, I can imagine. We're only on the second map and it feels like no time has passed at all. Yeah, it's been gone by in a flash. Shoes money crew definitely running shoes today. I think so. <laughs> well, hopefully they can find new pair of trainers. They're going to jump onto Voskaya in a second. We'll be right back after this short break.